Hello and welcome to the eighth video in the Bubble Beginners program series. In this video, we are going to go over logs. Logs are an extremely important and useful tool when you've launched your application to monitor the health metrics of your app, as well as being able to look at exactly the logs that took place in terms of the workflow actions that have run in your application, as well as any backend workflows that you've scheduled to run at a later date and time. So let's take a look at our logs tab here on the left. When we open it, we see three tabs. We have app metrics, server logs, and scheduler. In terms of app metrics, we don't necessarily recommend you spend too much time looking at this when you're building out your application. This actually becomes important once you've launched your application in production, and now you're really monitoring your users and your app scaling and, and usage. Once you start seeing your workflow, uh, workload usage kind of skyrocket, as well as just overall the health metrics here, that's when you need to start considering upgrading to a higher plan to allow more bandwidth and just making your app faster. So again, take a look in terms of what's here. But again, there's really no need to pay attention to this until you've launched your application live. In terms of server logs, this is important as this is basically how you start seeing what's taking place within your app under the hood. So what you're able to do is constraint it on specific time periods as well as users and really refining it down to other conditions such as contains. So here I just typed in quickly 10 minutes ago, and you can see all of the workflows that occurred 10 minutes ago. So this is helpful for if you want to see if a specific workflow or action has taken place, if something failed and you need to rerun it. Um, but this is just a way for you to really look at what happened right under the hood. Everything that's happening under your application gets logged by Bubble. So this is where you go to see what exactly has taken place. Lastly, we'll just go over the scheduler. And this, again, as we mentioned in our backend workflows tutorial video, backend workflows are only able to be run on a paid plan. So if you're on a free plan, uh, unfortunately, your backend workflows won't run. But as soon as you're on a paid plan and you have scheduled backend workflows, you can go ahead and sh uh, limit them on a specific time period, click show, and then you'll see those scheduled workflows appear here. You'll be able to cancel them out, see the parameters. You can pause them, you can cancel them, but just understand the scheduler is where you go to see what backend workflows are scheduled for your application and to be able to modify them as well in terms of like pausing them or canceling them um, outright. So again, in terms of logs, it's a very helpful tool. It's more so helpful once your application has actually been deployed and is live so that you can monitor the general usage of your application. But we did want to include this in our beginners series as this is an important tab for you to just kind of monitor and understand what's going on as you build your application. So thanks for, so much for watching this really concludes our intro and Bubble Beginners program. In the next video, we're just going to go over our recommendations and next steps for you as you start building out your application. So thank you so much.